Hey guys, it's Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and uh, this is just going to be a really quick lesson, but what I plan to cover is the jQuery slide and slide toggle effects. Basically, the slide toggle effect animates the height of the element that it's linked to, and at the same time, this also cause, causes excuse me, the bottom parts of the page to slide up or down, appearing to reveal items which is very nifty. So content, you can click something and then the content slides down and the page adjusts as well. Uh, giving that illusion that things are being revealed. It's not really an illusion though because it is happening. I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. Um, just to go over a quick thing here. I have all my CSS, you guys will notice. Um, don't worry about this. This is just for you guys to have the elements stand out better. None of this is associated in jQuery. Again, I'm just going to say none of this, none of the CSS is associated or plays any effect or role in jQuery, and I could take this out and it would still function the same way. But uh, for the most part. But uh, yeah. So let's go over this. I'm just going to pull up my web browser, and you'll see I have an element here. This is just a simple A tag in HTML. I click the element, and down comes my slide. And what this is, this box, is actually a div element in HTML. And it has its own ID attached to it, which I will cover for you in a second. And inside the div, of course, this is just text, but, you know, should be pretty self-explanatory. You can put whatever you want in here. A login form, uh, submit data, images, tables. It, it really doesn't matter. That's up to you. You're the web designer. But, uh, yeah. So you click this, and it pulls it down. Any element. And I'm going to show you how that's done. All right, so we have our jQuery included, <clears throat> as you would probably presume. Uh, there's our jQuery.js. It's in the root directory of index.html. And here is our main script. And you'll notice, as always, this takes place in the head function, or I'm sorry, the head portion of our HTML document. But that being out of the way, you go to document.ready. Always do that first whenever you're programming in jQuery, you have your document.ready followed by your window.load. Now you'll notice I have this right here, slide div.hide. And uh, what that's basically doing is it's going to the element on the page. jQuery doesn't know what it is, but it's going to go to it. Any element on the page that has an ID attribute of slide div, which just happens to be right here, a div element. Hope that makes sense. So the reason I hide it beforehand is because sometimes when you animate things on pages, it depends on the person's connection. And you may get, whenever you're animating things, you may get flickers of elements that come on and go off, and that's just really bad practice. It doesn't look clean. It kind of takes away. So any element that I plan to animate beforehand, I always like to hide it in the ready function. Now, it gets a little more complex once you actually get into creating your own animations. But uh, in general, you want to, it's a good practice to hide any element which you plan on having animated. So now that we're in our window.load function, you'll notice I have the toggle.click function. And I'm just going to separate this. This ends right here. This ends the window.load function. And this ends the toggle.click function. So whatever's in here is what's going to happen when this element with the ID of toggle gets clicked, which just happens to be, if you didn't already notice, my A tag, which has a link to nowhere, specifically because I just want it to be a toggle element. So jQuery says dot click function. It enters in here. As you can see, we call back slide div, much like we did up here. It's actually completely identical. The only part that changed is what we're going to talk about right here, and that's called the slide toggle effect. And the slide toggle effect, you can control the speed of the element. I already explained what it was. It adjusts the height attribute of the element that it's attached to to give the, uh, the illusion, or not illusion, of scrolling or revealing an element like, like such. You'll notice how that adjusts the height but you can change and manipulate the speed. And there are presets. You have fast, hit control S to save that. Go back in here, refresh. And now it's a very fast pull down. 
you can do it, obviously, go figure. Slow, right? There's a fast, there has to be a slow. So they have preset ones like that, but if you're really picky like me, and you like uh, customizing your interfaces to have different speeds and such things, then I prefer to have like 350 milliseconds, good third of a second. And that's pretty good. Sometimes it depends on the element, it needs to be quicker. But the point, of, the, the point of what I'm getting at here is that jQuery and the slide toggle function, as many other effects, you can control, it allows you, it detects, basically. You can control the speed. It's not just fast or slow, you can control it in terms of milliseconds. So, uh, yeah, experiment around with that. Uh, just thinking, is there anything else I need to cover? This was a pretty short tutorial. It's only covering one aspect here, which is called the slide toggle effect. So, I mean, here we have our div, right? A div is just an invisible box in HTML. I have an ID of your content, a div inside of this, not to be confused. It plays no role in jQuery, but this is just a... Uh, I have it set to your content because whatever content that you want can go inside this div and it will act just the same. But yeah, go ahead and experiment around with this. Uh, I hope it was useful to you. And in my next tutorials, I plan to have uh, the animating function so you can customize your own animations, which is uh, also pretty useful. But before I go, I want to show you just basically what this looks like, something practical. This is a website I coded a while back called e image site. And uh, if you click the login button here, it pops down this div. And vice versa, you can click this and it toggles the same function, pulls it right back up. But this is just a good example of something that you can do with the user interface and uh, the slide toggle function. Something a little bit more practical, I guess. But yeah, guys, as always, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Hope you found this useful. Take care. <laughs>